joined by Loreen four weeks after Liverpool. Can you describe in words what your journey has been since then? These four weeks? Well, I mean, it's been, I'm not gonna lie, it's been intense, but beautifully intense. Like, seriously. I mean, I have been traveling around the world and meeting, meeting you guys. Like, it's been, it's been real, but beautiful, surreal at times. You know, I'm like, what? Did we just, did we just win this? What? What's going on? You know? And also, there are times when I just feel this overwhelmingly, overwhelming gratitude. Like, gratitude. And now that journey has brought you here to Amsterdam, to the Amsterdam dinner tonight. Yeah. What made you want to get involved with tonight? Well, you know, I mean, this is for my community. And honestly, to be a little bit egoistic, I, I love this space. I love the queens. I love, you know, this whole, it just, I feel, I know it sounds corny, but I feel whole when I'm here. I feel at home, you know? So <laughs> whenever I can feel at home, if somebody, hey, you want to be here? Oh, it's my community. Yes, I'm coming, even though I'm tired, you know, it doesn't matter. But it's, yeah. And of course, tonight's theme is empowering women. Yeah. You are someone that empowers voices throughout so many communities. How important is it for you to use your voice for communities, no matter what community that is? I mean, it's, it's, it's so natural for me. Like, it's just like, I know we've talked about this before, but there's nothing more important than a human life and that life in general, like, you know, and I love the idea of using my creativity for something greater than myself, you know? Who instilled that in you in life? Is that what we learned earlier this week in the Rolling Stone interview, your Berber heritage? What, what, who has instilled that in your life, that ability to speak up for others? That's an interesting question. Yeah, well, of course, there are the women in my in, in, in my family from my mother's side. These are really strong women. But I also have to say that, you know, if you've been if you if you know what it feels like to struggle, you know you know all about pain. Then instantly you feel empathy for people that are struggling. You know, you you can feel it with your whole body. And when you're there, you just you, you can't do anything else but to act on it. You know, so it's it's I think it's those those two my family of course but also the fact that i i feel what's going on you know yeah. yeah and i understand you know that's the beauty of struggling and pain sometimes is that you understand what's going on around you and you feel with that yeah speaking of feeling have you felt what the world has given you and has embraced that too over the last four weeks from London to Liverpool to New York yeah. it has been embraced not only in charts but also with people singing it and drag performances yeah. what has that been like now that it's outside of that two-week bubble yeah. of Liverpool I mean I at times I'm in shock because you know it's like it's just so crazy that you can there's so much love out there you know and and I don't know what I've done in my past life, but I must have done something good because, you know, to receive this much is like, you know, I've never been through something like this in my entire life, and it's so beautiful. So I'm trying to, you know, take it in, you know, and at times it's just surreal. And I'm wondering, while you're doing all of that and embracing it and, and getting in touch with the people that you've mm -hmm. touched with your music, you're also writing new music. Yeah. You're preparing for a tour. How do you balance all those different creative sides to being an artist? at this moment. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, everything is creativity. So it's like, it's it's just, and it's it comes from the same uh, source, so to speak, you know? So it's it, there is no difference in terms of like, the love that you feel when you're in a studio and you're creating with your, your people there to when you're on stage performing on a, on a small like, a, a gay club in New York. I mean, that's love. So everything comes from the same source. It's love. So, I mean, balance it up. Yeah, I just try to be everywhere where it's love, honestly, like, you know. Can you describe what the atmosphere has been like in Iceland when you clearly have been creating new stuff? Can you just give me the atmosphere of it? I, you oh. Clearly, things are still 
creatively being made. Yeah. Nothing is finished. But can you give us an idea of the atmosphere that was there in the Iceland? Musical I atmosphere, or are we talking Iceland? You know, everything is everything. So, but Iceland is such a beautiful place in this world. Like you know, when you go there, it's like the energy you get from just being there being around that magnificent nature it's just like it's it's, it's so powerful you know and it, and it grounds you when you're there and when i'm there like i'm like i'm this small person in this big world things are not a big deal you know it's like you just it just grounds you and to be in a space like that and create music it just there's so many beautiful things that come out of that you know what, what is that atmosphere musically like oh very cinematic amazing yeah yeah and and the music i ha just to give you guys a it's about us yeah well the storyboard at least the song that i wrote there with olafur it's about us that's all i can say that's all i can say darling i can't say anything more listen i do not want to get more out of you in terms of music than you, you then what is the secret for I now i want to talk about it but i'm not, not, yet, not, not yet. yet not yet we will get to talk about it yeah. later this year when you go on your first European tour you get to creatively direct that yeah. space yeah. in every different European city what yeah. does that feel like for you that you get to create that entire soundscape that entire visual scape yeah. for example in the Netherlands will be Paradiso but you're going to Poland you're yeah. going to Paris yeah. what does it yeah. feel like to finally get to show people an hour and a half of Lorene's vision Oh God, pressure, darling. I'm just kidding. No, it must be fun. No, it must be fun. Yeah, we're just kidding around. No, you know, it is so much fun. It's nice. It's a beautiful thing to create a space and invite. I say my people to this space, you know, and really enjoy this this yeah visual space, but also the music together. That's what it's all about. It's about connecting. But it's, I yeah, it's a beautiful thing to create a safe space for all of us. Hey. Exactly. <laughs> What else are you looking forward to this year? Um, what else? Yeah, it's like what I mean, it, I'm having the time of my life yeah. just hanging around with you guys. Amazing. What else? Like there is nothing else <laughs> I'm longing for but to connect. You know, this is. I mean, seriously, this is so healing and it's so beautiful. To, I mean, it's to connect with people is like that is the most healing power there is you know we need that and nature and people and I, and I don't want to be anywhere else but there yeah. yeah I'm wondering this was my third year going to Eurovision I yeah. see also the toll it takes on an artist in terms yeah. of so much mm. promo to do then rehearsing and yeah. putting your energy into those performances yeah. Yeah. how did you deal with that for two weeks the, the constant Mm -hmm. being present yeah. being there yeah. being there for everyone who comes to you yeah how did how did that affect you mm. Mm -hmm. well I mean I just believe that it, when, when you're when you're not compromising on what you're doing like for instance when you meet people you're yourself you know and and you know you talk about the things that you feel are important and you know and and whenever there is no compromise in anything it doesn't take that much energy you know of course you get tired you need some sleep you need to eat something la 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 but apart from that you know you regain your energy and then you're there again this is what i mean when you're real it doesn't it actually gives you energy like for instance when we're sitting here we're having this conversation i'm having the time of my life here so am i you know it doesn't take any energy i will sleep like a baby after this like bang, bang, you know so with that said, it was intense in Liverpool, of course. Like there were things happening all the time, but because I never compromised, and it was real, I, I made sure that every moment was real. Like standing on stage, looking at you guys, being in an interview. I mean, whatever. Even in the gym, I was real. I was trying to meditate in the gym, you know. <laughs> it's, it's, I can't believe so how you do that in a gym. Yeah, well, you know, but that is the key, you know. Whenever you feel you're exhausted, you're like, oh my God, I'm exhausted. It's because somewhere in the equation, you're you're compromising. There's something you're doing that you're like maybe don't want to do and that's when it takes energy speaking of energy the energy tonight was palpable because you were playing with live musicians again in yeah. longer versions it felt like you were 
yeah. as you've spoken to me before, you were feeling the vocals come to you. Yeah. And that must be magic too. Yeah, well, of course. I mean, the, the song is so short. I mean, it's three minutes. I don't want to go in there and be like, hi guys, bye guys. Like, you know, <laughs> you don't want but that. But it really <laughs> felt like it was coming to you as you were doing it. Yeah, it, it was actually, you know, it was, you know, cause, cause the, of course the stage is round. So you wanted to meet everybody. So it took a while for me to be like, oh, there are you. I, you know, connect, connect, connect. Once the circle was, you know, closed, I was like, okay, now let's go, you know. I'm like that. When I stand on stage, I need to connect with people. I watch everyone. Like, oh, no, I take a round trip. <laughs> and then, you know, that's when it starts for me. Final question. Pride season is among us. I played your song last week <laughs> yeah. in front of 7,000 people. And you can Yay! see what it does to people yeah. to have that also emotional release during the song. Yeah. How happy are you that this song has now become part of that pride season this year and that it gives people the time to release and to rejoice and to have a moment with it yeah it is so i mean just the way you're saying it it's so beautiful yeah because that that was my vision that was what i envisioned you know and what i was hoping for you know and that is what the song if you ask me is supposed to do and we've, we've also talked yeah. about this like coming in and just giving you a chance to release whatever is going on if it's pain if it's happiness whatever it is and for you to do that you need an outlet like okay you need a song sometimes you know and that is tattoo you know it just goes in and then in you know hopefully does the work and just let you release whatever you want to release if it's joy if it's sadness if it's a cry if whatever it is it is Lorene, I wish you an amazing summer filled with amazing pride, amazing joy, amazing nature, which clearly... I thought you was going to say nails. Amazing nails. Oh, but the <laughs> nails are, honey, we have got to... Oh, you have no idea how the internet is constantly obsessing over what nails you're wearing yeah, next, but I yeah, wish you... Yeah, yeah, more to come. I'm like, yeah, yeah, well, of course, yeah. I've actually, you know, we're doing some new ones. Ooh. I'm not going to say if it's candy or if it's sand or if it's... I don't know. Chicken feathers, I don't know. Let's see. Let's, let's see what happens. But Lorena, I wish you a summer full of joy, full of sunlight, full of donuts, which remember from Amsterdam. Where are my donuts? No, I didn't. Where are my donuts? I'm like, you're still in work mode. I'll bring them to you the next time I see you. And I wish you an amazing time in nature. We cannot wait for new music. The yeah. tour is coming this oh. fall. Thank you so much for all your time. And congratulations yeah, again. Yeah, I know we're filming this, but give me a hug. I will. I go nuts. Oh, I love you. I love you too.